The first full-color photographs from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope will be released in less than a week. But how does this observatory locate and lock onto its targets? The specific concern was taken into consideration when the Canadian Space Agency created Webb's Fine Guidance Sensor, FGS, an intriguing preview of what the telescope's research equipment may disclose in the upcoming weeks, months, and years was just recorded in a panorama of stars and galaxies. Although FGS has always been able to take pictures, its main objective is to make precise science measurements and pictures possible. When it does capture images, it usually discards the image. Only two research instruments worth of data may be sent at once due to the constrained communications capacity between L2 and Earth. However, the researchers realized they could retain the pictures being taken since there was an adequate data transmission capacity during a week-long stability test in May. The final engineering test picture contains a few unsightly characteristics. The data was collected to test how well the telescope could stay fixed on a target rather than to be optimized as a science observation, although it does give some indication of the telescope's power. It exhibits certain characteristics of the viewpoints Webb has developed throughout its post-launch planning. Due to Webb's six-sided mirror segments, bright stars stand out with their six long, highly defined diffraction spikes. Beyond the stars, the backdrop is almost entirely made up of galaxies. According to Webb scientists, the outcome, which was produced using 72 exposures spread over 32 hours, is one of the most in-depth photographs of the cosmos ever obtained. Because FGS does not use color filters while its aperture is open, unlike other scientific equipment, it is difficult to do a rigorous examination of the age of the galaxies in this image. However, FGS is capable of creating breathtaking vistas of the universe, while even taking unintentional pictures while doing a test. This engineering image represents a total of 32 hours of exposure time at the several overlapping pointings of the Guider 2 channel. The observations were not optimized for detection of faint objects, but nevertheless, the image captures extremely faint objects and is, for now, the deepest image of the infrared sky. The unfiltered wavelength response of the guider, from 0.6 to 5 micrometers, helps to provide this extreme sensitivity. The image is monochromatic and is displayed in false color, with white, yellow, orange, red representing the progression from brightest to dimmest. The bright star, at 9.3 magnitude, on the right-hand edge is 2 mass, 1623579 plus 2826079. There are only a handful of stars in this image. Distinguished by their diffraction spikes, the rest of the objects are thousands of faint galaxies, some in the nearby universe, but many, many more in the distant universe. Because this image was not created with a science result in mind, there are a few features that are quite different from the full resolution images that will be released on July 12th. Those images will include what will be, for a short time at least, the deepest image of the universe ever captured as NASA Administrator Bill Nelson announced on June 29th. In this engineering test, the purpose was to lock onto one star and to test how well Webb could control its roll, literally, Webb's ability to roll to one side like an aircraft in flight. That test was performed successfully, in addition to producing an image that sparks the imagination of scientists who will be analyzing Webb's science data, said Jane Rigby, Webb's operations scientist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. The faintest blobs in this image are exactly the types of faint galaxies that Webb will study in its first year of science operations, Rigby said. The fine guidance sensor is the only instrument that will be used in every Webb observation throughout the duration of the mission's lifespan, despite the fact that Webb's four science instruments will eventually unveil the telescope's fresh perspective on the cosmos. FGS has already been essential in bringing Webb's optics into alignment. It will now direct every Webb observation to its intended target and maintain the accuracy required for Webb to generate groundbreaking discoveries about stars, exoplanets, galaxies, and even moving targets inside our solar system once science operations start in mid-July. If you want to learn more about the James Webb Space Telescope and stay up to date, subscribe to the channel to receive our daily updates. Thanks for watching.